is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with autism often have problems with social communication and interaction. Tonight, we feature journalist Massimbone who is creating awareness to parents with children living with autism to help embrace them in the society. Autism, according to the World Health Organization WHO, is a disease which affects one child in every 160 children globally. It is a biological problem that occurs during pregnancy before symptoms start becoming clear from three years after a child is born. Before then, specialists say it is near impossible to identify the symptoms. Some of the symptoms include child keeping to him or herself, failing to speak, jumping up and down and even beating his or her fingers. As a result, some of the children face difficulties while growing up like being denied their rights such as right to live being cared for and the opinion not being sought before a decision is made. Children with autism when given medical attention in good time can grow into responsible adults as stated by a caregiver. The caregiver further advises parents and guardians to allow children with autism to interact with others adding that the medical condition is not caused by witchcraft. <laughs> Apana hiyo ni dhana potovu. Kaa mkijua tu ni hali ambayo upongo wake unaingiza ma maelezo mengi kwa saa moja. The most unreliable therapy for children with autism include what is known as sensory integration. Hii sensory integration inawasaidia upongo wao kuweza kufanya nini? Kupata concentration pole pole. Kwa maana kuna processes ambazo ambayo ambazo atapitia itamsaidia kutulia anaweza fanya activity moja kama ametulia na itakuwa vema kwake According to Dr. Vitalis Juma the medical superintendent at the Vigia County Referral Hospital in Mbale the health facility has a total of four occupational therapists who are dedicated to assisting children with autism despite the fact the main challenge at the facility is lack of a speech therapist. We have a team of uh, four occupational therapists that are able to offer this service. Of course, um, as we are all aware that uh, at times these uh, children may not be able to communicate well or they use nonverbal uh, form of communication. So at the facility currently we lack the speech therapist and it's our appeal that uh, as we consider um, moving forward and improving services to these uh, uh, children that efforts are made and in adequate investment is also made to increase the number of human resources uh, towards the care of these children and more, more so uh, investment into this cadre called speech therapist. Dr. Juma further urges pregnant women to deliver in health facilities so as to reduce various conditions which may affect the newborn during childbirth. Cerebral palsy more often is preventable. Good maternal care will be able to ensure that uh, we don't have children developing cerebral palsy. His sentiments are further echoed by Anita Temo, an occupational therapist at the Vega County Referral Hospital. Uh, for autism, we normally have our occupational and even physiotherapy services at Vihiga County Referral Hospitals where we train them in the developmental milestones and the physios will come in and train in the ambulat ambulatory part of it. Our guardians uh, who are parents, they need to bring out uh, these kids or uh, a child who they feel that is not as the neighbor or is not as the previous child that they find that there's a bit of challenge with them, that possibly these children need to be screened adequately, and if they are found to be having autistic features, uh, then they are put on adequate therapy. Mayor from the National Council of Persons with Disabilities says most parents are unable to distinguish between various forms of disabilities, urging various players to join hands in creating awareness so that children with disabilities can be identified as well as supported. The level of awareness is too low that um, parents are unable to distinguish between types and categories of disabilities. They, they are unable to distinguish between autism, cerebral palsy and other types and categories of disability. Another challenge that I have seen is that 
parents are uh, traveling for a very long distance and looking for services like physiotherapy and this is key it's a key management tool that will be able to improve the lives of these children so for me is that we need to improve um, the reach of these services journalist and radio presenter Masimboni together with her co-founder through the organization dubbed and Mass Guardian advocates and reaches out to parents with children who have various forms of disabilities among them being autism Masi says that their approach is to assist both parents, guardians and caregivers of children with disabilities, having in mind that through such acts helps in empowering the person concerned in supporting child's health growth. Na kitu ambacho mimi naamini kama Masi mbone ni kwamba iwapo mlezi hata kuwa sawa, basi yule mtoto mbaya na ule mavu hato kuwa sawa. Na ndiyo maana Almasi Guardian sasa tukakuja na initiative hii kwa kikisha kwamba tunawasaidia wazazi ambao wana watoto wale mavu tunawasaidia kwa njia gani kwanza kwa kuelimisha kwa sababu tunaamini kwamba knowledge is power wakipata knowledge basi watakuwa na uwezo wa kujua kwamba nikifanya hiki nitasaidia mtoto wangu kipeleka mtoto wangu hapa atasaidika Daniel Dembede Look Up TV Kisumu County